Hi, welcome to a Cumulus training movie. In this training movie, I will talk about vocabulary fields. Since Cumulus 10, there's a new field type in Cumulus called vocabulary fields. Um, as you already know, you have the ability in Cumulus to have string list fields. String list fields have fixed values that you can set, either single value or multi value and you can either show them in uh, this uh, way or if they're multi-value, you can show them this way. The advantage is that they are very quick and easy to set if their lists are not too big. If on the other hand, your list becomes very big, the disadvantage is that you don't see what value in a multi-value uh, setting, what values are set and you have to scroll. And this is even a small list, so for this type of field, it's still okay. But for other fields, um, which might be like a photographer name or author or that kind, where you might end up with 50, 100, or even more uh, different kind of uh, uh, values you want to set, um, then in that case, a vocabulary field is uh, more interesting to use. The vocabulary field like this keyword list um, works in a way that you actually look up uh, what you're looking for. So if you are assigning some stuff, um, you just type a few letters and you can assign um, whatever is containing those letters. So it is a contained search, not an equal search. And so you can easily uh, find uh, this way multiple uh, values. And so that's a very easy way of finding it. How do I set up? Well, everything begins with a vocab, uh, a catalog called the dollar vocabularies. In the dollar vocabularies catalog, you can create lists like colors, materials, people, whatever, any kind of list you want. What is very important is that there is a new field type um, and this field type is called container type. And in this field, you can create as many uh, entries as you like. It's uh, in your category catalog uh, settings here uh, in uh, the category fields of course it's a container type and the container type is a string list and here you can create as many lists as you want I have out of the box it just says category but you can say color material doctors uh, whatever author photographer keywords and so whatever you want uh, to create you can create those types content types once you've done that, um, then these options will become available in the other catalog, even if you don't have any uh, cat, uh, categories defined yet, um, it will show up in the other catalog. So if I go to the other catalog here, um, <clears throat> if I go to the preferences of this catalog, you will notice that if you create a new field, or if you have a field like I already do called in this case I think I called it keyword list or something uh, so just here it is it's a vocabulary field and if I look at the properties now you can have things populate automatically if this is uh, allowed but traditionally this kind of field is something that is um, done by the user and in the definition of this field, you can say what lists are participating, are used, can be used in this uh, particular vocabulary field. So you might have uh, different people like doctors and nurses and uh, types of people. And you could say for this type of field, I'm only allow allowing doctors or I'm allowing doctors and nurses. It could also be language bound. So you could say I have English uh, keywords and I have French keywords. So for this list, I'm only allowing French keywords, for instance. So that is uh, how you uh, define. You can say I want to restrict 
to a certain number of and big by setting it up here for color um, you uh, have uh, limited to the list of the categories in this uh, other catalog in the vocabularies not under colors it's not the name of the category it's the content type and so if you look in the it's this because here is color that means that that particular field that particular keyword can be used selected in that uh, category so that's how you uh, can set this up the big benefit is also that if you have certain lists even if they don't have a lot of values but if you have certain lists that need to be available across several catalogs then you will have experienced already in the past the problem that you need to maintain them all at once uh, simultaneously in all those catalogs because otherwise in sites or in portals when you use filters you run into trouble if the lists are no longer in sync here with the vocabulary field you can have one list and in your catalog you just point to that list so whenever you update that list it automatically um, gives you the opportunity uh, to use the same list that is used in the other catalogs Another thing is important to know that these, these are small lists, but if you have large lists of doctors or keywords, whatever, uh, you can use RoboFlow, for instance, to import from a tab-limited text or a CSV file. Uh, you can import it into these categories, and that automatically gives you um, a very flexible way of uh, populating these lists. Another option uh, could be that uh, you use RoboFlow to analyze maybe other fields like keyword fields that users typed in manually like in Lightroom or in Bridge and you could pick up values from there and auto automatically update this list with those values. So this was category uh, vocabulary field and how to set it up. Thank you for joining and see you in another training movie.